All right, it's Mike from the Mike James Rock Show. We're at Bloodstock and this fine gentleman is from Vector. Introduce yourself, fella. I am David DeSanto from Vector. How's it going, man? Good. Long day by the sounds of it. You yeah, were playing yeah. in Portugal yesterday and now you're in the Midlands in, in the UK. Yeah, we had a 4 a.m. flight um, and I tried to get some uh, sleep sitting up, but it's, it didn't work it's out too well. It's impossible, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, we're in a nice quiet campsite here, but even sleeping here is, is, is next to nothing. I can't imagine what it's like on the tour. Do you? How, how, how do you get sleep on a tour in tour buses? Is it like just forced? Well, we don't have a bus this time. We oh, have okay. a van. Oh, man. Which is like... Uh, Proper upright, yeah. no reclining or anything. So, is it hard to get sleep patterns on tour? Or do you just like drink until you pass out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a trade secret, yeah. <laughs> I need to become a musician, not an interviewer. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, what can we expect from your set here at uh, Bloodstock this weekend? Uh, mostly new, maybe cool. an, maybe an old one. Cool, man. We only have 40 minutes, and our songs are like around 10 minutes, so... Are you we, stripping some of them down to fit more yeah. in? Or is it, you just yeah. to go for like... We just gotta, we gotta, I think we have like five songs in our set, so... That's cool, at least you all know what you're doing then. There's no having to look down Yeah, the there's, no, there's no paper, it's yeah, all yeah. here. Uh, you said you're playing in Portugal just now. What's, what's after Bloodstock? Are you back into Europe? Are you doing more dates around here? More dates in the UK. Nice. Um, like Dublin, Manchester. What else is there? It's got the whole repertoire there. Dublin, Manchester, London, and then back out into Europe. Cool, man. Uh, how do British crowds compare to crowds in sort of Europe and elsewhere? Last the time, uh, it was the first time we ever played... Uh, the UK was the London uh, or Camden Underworld. Nice venue, man. dude. It was it was the best show on tour. Uh, crazy, awesome crowd. And it's got that legendary status of the, the Underworld. Like everyone wants to play there, so you, it was you know amazing. all the fans have shared that stage before. It was great, so, man. Uh, we uh, really good response from the crowd. Um, so yeah, we're we're excited to be back in the UK and cool. check out a few more places. Uh, are you going to be able to see any UK bands whilst you're here today, or any bands in, at all, really? Or is it now press and then you go straight on to stage? I have to look again at the running list, but I, I think Sadist is playing. Uh, I, I don't know. Bands get pushed in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> would, I, I can't remember. There's so many fests on this tour, but I think it's Bloodstock that Sadist is playing. Okay. Uh, I'll have to double check, but I'm going to have to watch them. Are they friends of yours, or just you're just a fan of the band? I'm a fan, yeah. Um, I've been listening to them for I don't know about four or five years now okay. good stuff because that's the thing with Bloodstock as well it's run by the fans for the fans so you do get fans I guess I say this and other fans that people would never have thought of being on a festival and then yeah. all of a sudden you've got a huge swelling of uh, audience in front of you so yeah, is that yeah. kind of daunting for yourself as well? no I get more nervous when there's like five people in front of me uh, <laughs> you really got to put the performance on yeah yeah win them all over. <laughs> when it's a sea of faces you, you don't really focus on any one person plus I guess the lights as well you can only see the front row yeah or sometimes you can't see it all it's just heads oh okay yeah because yeah. the stages are different heights yeah. and all sorts of things I've never really thought of that like, I've always like, thought of it from the audience you can see the, the, the band but the other way around it's like yeah depends sometimes it's just a bright light in your eyes and, you know What's the rest of the year got in store for you then? You mentioned we, uh, the rest of the tour in Europe, so after that, where, where are you off to? Completely thrown off. Blake is flashing me his man boobs. Lovely. Yeah, so, so uh, what's, what's next after the European tour? The US the tour year? in November. Okay. Uh, and then I think we're coming back out into Europe in the spring. Oh, cool. With your own headline at all, or is that? Don't know yet. Don't know. You just yeah. hoping to be back over here. Our booking because... agent wants to do something with us, and he's exploring options. So that's cool. Though. At least yeah. you've got, you know, you're going to be doing stuff like yeah. into 2017 already, and we're already halfway through this year. Really, yeah. that's cool. Well, hopefully, we'll, you'll come back to the UK, and we get to hang out again, man. That's pretty sure cool. Thanks very much. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, man. Cheers.